of the people have been relegated to a service industry type work. And it just doesn't pay as much to deliver pizzas as it does to work in a steel foundry. All the jobs out there, you know, it's, uh, you got to have experience, but how are we going to get the experience and nobody else hires us? Or if, you know, what's, what's the other jobs? It's burger flipping, you know? Like, Nobody wants to burn a flu. When, like, you go to a job, you know, they're too busy trying to avoid discrimination so they won't get sued, you know? So they hire a bunch of black people and a bunch of, you know, foreigners and all this stuff, you know? There's no room for, for the white man. Because, like, then they say that, because, like, if they turn out a black man, the guy's going to say, well, he's discriminated against me. And then they can sue him or some shit like that. The very thing the skinheads are about, what our boots represent is working class. And the fact that, that family, motherhood, fatherhood, the, the traditional family values are what the skinhead nation stands for. And, and that's what we unmitigatedly stand for. That's why we'll die for what we believe because, you know, we believe it's got to get back to that if our race is to survive into the next millennium. There she goes. Balance There she goes. Hold the rope. Hold the rope. Hold the other way. It is time at the clan and the skinheads to unify under one banner. That we unify under one cause. The great cause of the 14 words. We must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. I have a dream that the clan and the skinheads will hug each other's neck, that we may not agree on everything, but as long as we can agree that our race is our nation, the arms of the skinheads fly open to our brothers in the Ku Klux Klan. I'm a Klansman and a skinhead. I'm both because both represent the white nationalist movement. Both stand for the white racial precepts. Some people ask why these men shave their heads. The answer is they come from a generation that worship pantyhose for women and electric hair dryers for men. And they're tired of it. So they separate themselves from society. They shave their heads to symbolize that they have been deprecated on by the Zionist occupation government. Therefore, they purify their heads by shaving it, saying we do not agree with the mistakes of the past, and we're going to stand up and make a future for white children in America. We want our country back. White this is power. our country. White power. White power. What can I say? The man just said it all. We're going to give the privilege and honor and lighten the cross tonight to Mr. Billy Riccio. Klansmen, halt, face the cross. For my God, for my country, for my family, for my clan. Klansmen, to the cross. Klansmen, salute the cross. to see that some of them in the end wanted unity. Yeah. But most of them want to work with us. That's what it's all about. Y'all hear that? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, what are you? Where does that all fit to live? In my heart. Hell Phillip. Hell Phillip. Hell Phillip. Mike Power. <laughs> hey, y'all about ready to go back to the smoke city? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Uh, thank y'all for coming up. Y'all are my life. I mean that. No, Bill Riccio. No, Bill Riccio. For a long time, I said, well, if they ever had to go on the lamb, they could be identifying marks much better than even fingerprints. And uh, then I told myself, uh, you know, uh, the, the troops out here have them. You know, it's part of being a skinhead is getting a tattoo. You know, you can let your hair grow back, but you mark yourself. It's an indelible mark. Uh, it's a brand. And, uh, you know, when you tattoo yourself, you, uh, it's a commitment. So, uh, I believe I'm scared I'm going to wipe off my, uh, stencil. Well, don't worry about the blood. Well, it's just getting in my way. Oh, I forgot to mention he's legally blind. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I've got a crazy man doing this. Cheers. I've received kind of hints from all different sources. Uh, they've come to a lot of the skinheads' parents when they've gotten in little problems or whatever, or even if they're in, being investigated for different things. Uh, they've made the comment that all the skinheads in Birmingham including me, we're going to be either dead or in, in prison by the end of the year. Yeah, These are... they, whenever I went to jail for uh, just being up here and being underage, they, uh, when my dad came to get me out, they told him that uh, Bill was the main person un behind everything, and uh, they said that they'd either have us in jail or dead by the end of the year. You know, the heat's on. I'm concerned. You know, uh, why should we worry? We haven't done anything. We haven't done anything illegal. But you know, it's never stopped law enforcement before. One of our sources that has a relative in the FBI office says that on their coffee breaks and their personal conversation, they refer to me as Charlie. And uh, I wondered why Charlie, you know? And he says, "Dumbass, Charlie Manson says." Uh, he never uh, touched one of the guys or, or girls that were slain either, but he had his minions do it for him. And uh, I just have this to say. I know we're being watched. I know we're under the camera. I know you can't play games with these people. Uh, it's like a, an ant defying an elephant right now. He busted in real hard. I mean, kicked the door down, kicked the lock off the, you know, to the office and stuff. I mean, look at this place. They ripped us apart, tore up beds downstairs, tore up my bedroom, threw my clothes everywhere, all over that dirty floor. Clothes are dirty. I mean, uh, <laughs> no respect. I mean, they came in here and they just went through everything. Hey, well, the federal government's got to draw it in, man. It's just, it's unreal, man. They're chicken shit. But you know what? We're trying to be white people about it. We're trying to be white about it, you know? They raid my house, they tear it up. You ought to see the walls. You ought to see everything they tore up. You know? A working man works, you know? They come in there and do that. But you know what they do? They leave these crack houses alone to sell our kids dope. They talking about contributing to a minor? 
Let them go in the crack house where they're selling dope to white kids. Let them go in there where they're taking our little children and turning them into dope fiends. Let them go in there with a with a uh, with black people are selling drugs to little white children. No, they don't want to do that. They're in there because I'm asking a white kid to stand in a full-length mirror and be proud of what he sees. We don't want uh, the Treasury Department coming out here when they have no authority whatsoever to do so. It's a prima facie case of harassment, man. Been to my house three times in two months. You know, three times in two months, okay? Tore it up, nothing ever happens. Come over here, sit at our rallies, take pictures, you know? Yeah, I'm mad, I'm mad. You know, I want them to leave me alone, you know? Because if I'm out in the open, I'm not gonna be anything do anything illegal. It's when they don't see me and they don't know where I am, they got something to worry about. Myself in racial loyalty. Without these things, I have no identity. I reject multiracial authority. White national socialist, proud to be, and you can be. White National Socialist with honor and loyalty. White National Socialist, proud to be, and you can be a white National Socialist with honor and loyalty. White National Socialist, proud to be, and you can be a White National Socialist with Socialist National Socialist. <laughs> Hail victory! Hail victory! White power! I know sometimes a lot of people would say we have a small amount of people here on this cow pasture tonight. And you know, even the mighty oak tree starts as a small acre. Let us not be discouraged because we're few in member. I remember 2,000 years ago, a Galilean who came down out of his home in the mountains there in Judea. He had but 12 lowly followers, and one of them turned out to be an FBI agent. He had but 12 people in his inner circle. And look what their theology has accomplished today. The Klan faced such odds in 1865, and in five years, it turned it around. The FBI came to me about three months ago, and they said, Bill Riccio, you're rubbing that cat's fur the wrong way. I'm gonna put you back in jail. Six and a half years ought to have been enough. Should have learned your lesson, boy. I said, God damn it, turn the goddamn cat around then. I promise, I promise that my motto, my motto will be, will be my race is my nation. My race is my nation. My only nation is my race. My only nation is my race. I swear the loyalty. I swear the loyalty to the immortal leader of our race. To the immortal leader of our race. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. And to the principles of the Aryan National Front. And to the principles of the Aryan National Front. I will die before betraying it. I will die before betraying it. White victory. White victory!
It does, man. It looks just like you when you look, man. When you st when you're talking to somebody, it's done it, Ken, done it. Yeah, it's it does. It's like well, you gotta do it, man. You gotta do it, man. Don't compare me to that, man. I'm so unworthy. It's your look, man. You're stare. You're stare. stare. You gotta stare. I mean, you got. Yeah. I hope I have his spirit. Hitler said that he would arise from the grave one day. His spirit would. He said it was necessary that he would die for his people, but he said one day he will rise from the grave. His spirit would. And then the world would know that he was right. I wish 17 years ago, Bill could have been my biological father. I swear, I mean, because I've not seen my father for eight years, man. But I know Bill would have been there his whole 17 years, man. I know he would have. Because, you know, we're here now, and I can say it's safe to say that he is my father. And he's all these youths' father. Every single one of them. Right. I mean... You're proud to be white. That's what it is. You're proud to be white. I think with white the power. youth these days, people say, yes, they're easy to brainwash. And, and I don't think that's what's going on here. What Bill does is show them their white heritage and give them something to be proud in. And that's what they come here to get. Yeah. 88. 88. Hail the youth. Hail the youth. Future. The adults had their chance. They killed each other. White man killing white man. It's, another, it's like at one time I, when you were speaking, I heard you say when the federal government